that horror and to act. The story of Emmett Till and the incredible bravery of Mamie Till Mobley helped fuel the movement for civil rights in America. And their stories continue to inspire our collective fight for justice. When I served in the United States Senate, the number of diverse staffers has increased, reaching the highest level since we la launched our survey, and almost certainly the highest level ever. Certainly the highest level in our conference's history. Our survey also shows that more African Americans work in the for Senate Democratic offices than ever, and in fact, that's also true for Latinos, Middle Eastern and North Africans, and Asian American Pacific Islanders. Additionally, more staffers identify as part of the LGBTQ community since we first asked that question starting in 2019. He called for a number of changes to tax policy in a state of the union address, including significantly raising a levy on stock, buybacks, and imposing a billionaire minimum tax. But the shallow to the expanded child tax credit is more immediately significantly for the average American family than a tax on billionaires. The expanded child tax credit was back in 2021 and helped a lot of people out and helped families with Americans uh, struggling financially while they provided stimulus for a long time. And the maximum benefit of the credit was increased from two grand to three grand in 2021. That's for people six to 17 years old. And half of the credit was given in advance. Plus in monthly payments to the families to help others throughout the year. And the other half was given as part of a household's tax refund. The household with pretty much uh, no or low income was able to receive it for the first time. And though it can take years for the policy to have the tangible effects, the impact of the credit was uh, pretty much very noticeable very fast. And so I believe it's pretty much right for Joe Biden to send out another one. Don't you guys agree? Parents supported using the advance payments for household essentials like groceries, clothing, schools, and utilities. And despite worries from conservatives, researchers found no evidence that the policy discouraged people from going back to work. Instead, it probably motivated people to get back to work. The Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, everybody, said the success of the 2021 expansion showed us that child poverty rates are a policy choice, not inevitable. And Congress failed to renew the expansion in 2021, reverting the credit back to its former, less generous iteration. It's one of the reasons that families could see smaller tax refunds this year when they follow their returns. Because deposits of the economic impact payments appeared in some bank accounts uh, two weeks ago. For those in poverty, though, bank accounts are a luxury they cannot afford. And that leaves the question, how do they get their money now? Genesis Neros reports. Legal Aid Line, can I help you? When it comes to stimulus checks and those in poverty, Regina Campbell doesn't know what to tell people to expect. Shocking news has been released and there are seven new plans put together by Republicans and the Democrats and they're trying to get things done for the American people. Now, there has been no shortage, everybody, of uh, Republican lawmakers bickering over Social Security in recent weeks because as Republicans and Democrats have pointed out, fingers over which party wants to fix the program and which one wants to undermine it. Well, there are several problems with this. Because during a Senate Finance Committee hearing, the Senate Republicans accused the Treasury Secretary of lying about the President Biden's willingness to work with lawmakers on Social Security reform. That followed a similar exchange between Republican Mitt Romney and Shalanda Young. Now, in this separate hearing, Romney said that she was simply wrong and not honest to suggest that current members of Congress want to cut off Social Security and Medicare. With so much hostility between the political parties, it's hard to see any hope of bipartisan Social Security reform that is. The only solution with even a whiff of bipartisan support is a proposal to raise this full retirement age for Social Security beneficiaries. That proposal announced last month is being pushed by the Cassidy Senators and the Louisiana Republican and also the Senator Angus King, a Maine independent who causes who caucuses with Democrats. The two are leading a group of legislators that aim to raise the full retirement age, 70 to 67. Raising the full retirement age is seen as the, one of the ways to lessen the impact of the coming insolvency of uh, Social Security's old age and survivor's insurance, which finances about 20 to a quarter percent of uh, Social Security benefits it is. The fund is expected to run out of money by the middle of the decade, meaning that Social Security will have to go guaranteed paid sick time.
So that's not cool, and that's not right, and it's definitely not good, and it's definitely not what we want to hear from Joe Biden. What we want to see is that Joe Biden do more for the people in sending out stimulus payments because he should definitely do something now while he still has the chance. Because... As the U.S. enters a recession this year, everybody, we have important news for Social Security, SI, SDI, and even SSA. They have proposed a brand new stimulus program. When I say they, I'm talking about Democrats and Republicans. They will allocate billions of dollars towards new relief. Some Americans will receive these checks automatically, while others are going to take half to a little bit more action. So there is a little less than a month before Colorado residents even who file their taxes receive this extra money. The Colorado Cashback Program, for instance, will give taxpayers who file their 2021 taxes by October 17, 750 bucks by the end of this month of January. Eligible couples will get 1500 bucks, and even the governor who said the law in May is set to return the money to taxpayers as he originally intended for the payment to be 400 bucks for individual filers and $800 for couples. According to the Colorado Department of Revenue, the amount was increased to the excess state revenue. The payment arriving by the end of the month will be for state residents who filed an extension. And the first one of payments was for people who had filed their taxes by June 30th and paid the residents September 30th payments. So example of this is what I'm talking about in Colorado residents, they must be 18 or older by the end of this year to claim this free stimulus credit. Free stimulus credit, folks, because if a taxpayer who is eligible to receive this check owes any money to the government, like a child support or unpaid parking tickets, well, the rebate amount will decrease. Also, everybody, President Biden and top lawmakers fanned out across the country this week to visit bridges that are said to be prepared with new infrastructure money. President stopped at, for instance, the Brent Spent Bridge, which crosses the Ohio River, connecting Connecticut and uh, Kentucky, the event touting an infusion of repair money. Repair money going to bridges, not people. Millions of people currently qualify for at least one bonus refund check. Officials even said that there are billions of dollars in unclaimed payments right now. These checks can be worth over a thousand bucks for many of you guys. And according to CNBC News, there is a decent chance that your state is holding money or that other assets belong to you. And the government officials want you to have it. The National Association of Unclaimed Property Administrators has said that about 33 million Americans collectively have an estimated $70 billion worth of unclaimed property being held by the state treasury. The types of assets that end up with states range from uncashed checks or rebate checks to an active brokerage accounts and unpaid life insurance benefits. The average value of each claim is 2000 bucks. Last year, about $4 billion in property tax was returned to the rightful owners. While each state has its own rules that govern the process of claiming the property, you can count on being required to prove that you are the rightful owner. For example, providing documents confirming your identity. States often try to locate people as well, for instance, matching the owner's information to a tax turn. And according to officials, state treasuries get new unclaimed property turned over to them every single day. Officials are encouraging people to check their they're missing money in a national cleaning house for unclaimed assets, and most people 